Ask yourself if you are indecisive about the future. If you are indecisive about the investments that you should be making. Indecisive about the investment and in, in, in management decisions you should be making. You know what I observed happened in a, in a previous recession? People became extremely indecisive. And I coined a phrase. I said that what is happening, people are becoming aggressively indecisive. Are you suffering from aggressive indecision? I'm not gonna make this capital investment. I'm not gonna pursue this new strategy. I'm not going to you know, go to WeftTech with a mindset that's going to evolve a lot of opportunities for innovation because I'm just not quite certain about when we are going to see an economic recovery and things are gonna be easier. But here's something that we have learned. A fellow at GE, responsible for innovation, he studied what organizations did in previous economic downturns. He looked at the oil shock of the 70s, the downturn of the 80s, the 1990s downturn, the, the dot-com bust. They seemed to come in 10-year waves. And what he found was that 60% of the organizations barely survived. They did what they had to do. They cut costs, they managed costs, they muddled their way through. 30% didn't make it. But 10% became breakthrough performers because they decided, despite economic uncertainty, despite not having clarity on when economic volatility is going to disappear, their decision was that now is the time to innovate. Now is the time to adapt. Now is the time to be doing the things that we need to do to position ourselves for the future. Ask yourself, if you are suffering from aggressive indecision, you need to change that attitude. When you go out on the show floor and when you go to the education sessions, you need to be in a mindset that there is a wealth of knowledge that is occurring here and you need to adapt a lot of these ideas.